throwback for another video. So in this video, I'm going to talk about social media and women. I believe that social media has destroyed the modern day woman. We have many things that have contributed to it. Feminism, uh, reality television shows, the entertainment industry. Um, but social media has done so much damage to the way women are. If we could just take that away, I think we might have some fighting chance. But I would do anything to go back to the days where we had no social media. I'd give up YouTube because I love YouTube. I'd give it all up to go back to the days where I either had a pager or a basic cell phone that just made phone calls. Life seemed so much better back then. Women were better quality. Uh, women were ladies. They were just better. I know we still had feminism ruining everything, but social media, God, it just made things, um, the, the, the process of uh, devastation on women have just, it's just sped up so fast when social media came about. You know, social media for women, it, it's turned into this big competition. It's just women competing online for who can present the best facade because it's not real. You know, these women that post, oh, I have such a great life and, and posting pictures of everything they do, it starts to make it look like they have a better life than you. But if you know that person personally, you'll begin to see the facade crumble. And I'll give you an example to this. I don't use Instagram, I don't Twitter, I don't do any of that stuff. The only thing I use is YouTube now. But at one point I did have a Facebook when it was first emerging. When I was living up north, my husband and I moved up north where we had no family. And the only way you know my family could see our children or to see us or we could see them, we used Facebook. I didn't have all these friends. I just was friends with family members. I kept everything private and I did have a few um, friends that I grew up with from elementary school or middle school on there too that uh, reached out to me on there. But besides that, that was all I had. And I started to notice a trend of the selfies, the, the, the competitiveness of who has the best social status. and. Uh, also noticed that there was women on there that you know whether that be a part of my family or an old acquaintance that I wouldn't know personally would be on there oh I'm such a great mother I could never live without my children um, I do so many things with my children look at me I'm at the park with my children you know and take a picture but I would know these women personally and I'm sorry to say it but they would not be they'd be crappy mothers they'd be the type of mother that you know, their children dressed in rags, still in pajamas at two in the afternoon, um, you know, boogers all over their noses, dirty fingernails, hair not groomed, you know, but they would be all groomed up, you know, full face makeup, hair done, expensive clothes, you know, their nails done. They would look great and their kids would be in rags. And they would also be the type of mothers that party all weekend and have their children being babysat by relatives because they want to go to the gym or party all the time so they never have their kids you know it's it's just i would see that and i'd be like they they who are they trying to bullshit and people actually would buy it because they'd be on it oh you're such a great mother oh i want to be like you i hope when i have children i'm the same you know type of mother as you and all of this and i just got tired of it um so i got off of there i didn't want to um, the bullshit. I couldn't take it anymore. Also, a lot of women on there like to live their lives by quotes. Like they would post all these quotes and, and try to, um, instead of making up their own or, you know, saying something clever, they would post a quote and like, li like live through a quote. It's, it's absolutely retarded and it drives me nuts. Um, but I just got tired of it, y'all. I couldn't take it anymore. So I got off of it and I will never be on Facebook again. Um, you know, I don't care if I'm the only one left that doesn't do it. Now, YouTube, on the other hand, I've been watching YouTube from the beginning. Um, <clears throat> YouTube is a way for me to I get my conservative news because um, I don't watch mainstream media. I, you know, I could watch gun prepping channels, fitness channels, um, cooking channels, all the things that interest me. I can watch YouTubers on here, you know, and you also get to conversate with people on those channels that have the same interest in you. You learn things. There's YouTubers that I've been watching from the beginning. Those, they begin to grow on you and you'll watch them do anything. If you, if you started out watching them because they have a gardening channel, 
You'll watch them go on vacation. You'll watch them talk about different aspects of their life because they begin to grow in you. It's just, it was an awesome thing in the beginning. And unfortunately, the liberal feminists are ruining this too. But, um, you know, I do enjoy using YouTube. But Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, don't use any of it. I'm still so shocked that when I'm out, there will be guys that will come up to me and ask. Just the other day, I had a guy asked me at the grocery store, are you an Instagram model? No, I am not. And I kept walking and he followed me like he was shocked. You're not on Instagram. I'm like, nope. And I kept walking. And then, of course, he proceeded to ask for my phone number. I said, I am a married woman. And I said, good day. And I kept walking, didn't speak to him again. But he was so shocked that I was not on Instagram because he's probably so used to every woman he asks is, well, you know, how do I follow you on Instagram? Or so yeah, so pretty much um, so I totally agree with her. I know there's a, a difference in the dating game and how people are now because of social media. Because I'm a little bit older, so uh, basically I remember like back when I was like 19, 20, I think about how I was before when I went when I, I meet a woman when I'm at the mall or at a grocery store, and then she wasn't, you know, we didn't have Instagram back then. So yeah, I know it's a big difference. But one thing I have noticed that changed everything was when they had these reality shows, I would say especially the ones like uh was it was it, uh hip hop was it Love Hip Hop Atlanta, uh the Atlanta Housewives. So now a lot of times women are trying to be like these women that they seen off of those shows. And, and like you just said, that's not reality. And then when it comes down to dating a woman I do not date women who are on social media. Unless she had the business and she's leveraging the business, then I get that. But if woman has social media, I can see as if she has a family. She has a family friend. She posts different things about her family. But nowadays, all what you see on social media, though, mainly with the women is they're posting their bodies in a in bikini, in a thong, showing their body for likes. And then that's so irritating because that's showing that that's the only thing that they have to offer and that just gives them this instant attention. And yeah, because back in the day, a woman would have to go and and get dressed up, you know, and actually put some effort in to go and look good. Now, a woman can just get all the attention that she wants without uh, without even leaving the house. Or um, fate with your Facebook, and it's just really sad that it's come down to that. Um, and women. You know, they think that they're actually getting this male attention because they're actually wholesome, quality women. But what they don't realize is all they've turned themselves into is masturbation material. That's all they are. Just she's telling the truth. She's telling the truth. <laughs> I know. It's, I know it's different. But like before, when I try working with different women, I see them. They see that they had like a large following. I thought, okay, man, they can get get some people to, to buy my products, but. All what they had was guys on their page wanting, you know, you know uh, who just liked them showing their body, them showing cheeks. And then, yeah, so just uh, anybody, I said, any woman can get guys to like their page is, is if they just show some skin. But the main skill is, okay, you know, so what other value are you giving the guy besides that? Can you get people to go and buy? Just a quick, that's it. They're, they're worth nothing else. They're worthless. You know, they can't cook, they can't clean, they can't be trusted. Um, they're not marriage material. They're not wife material, the kind of woman that you could really trust, count on, bring home to the family. They're nothing but sex. That's it. And that's a great point. Because uh, that's one thing that uh, a lot of times guys don't think about, though, is most guys, the average guy and most guys pick a woman based off of how good she looks and how well she is, and, and I mean, how much fun she is, is to have in bed. But those are the best, no, no, those, those are the worst reasons for picking a woman. Because when it comes down to raising your children, so you're going to have somebody you know, that doesn't have those qualities of being a good mother, you just pick her based off of how she looked and how, how good she was in bed. But a woman's character is going to raise your kids. So she's going to have to be the one that's held responsible when you're not there. So if she's like the kind of woman that she's saying that she's all social media doing stuff for attention, yes, this is the kind of woman that she will push her kids in in dangerous circumstances, all for her for herself. And they don't 
completely realize that either. These women actually believe today that they're quality, good, decent women. It's so pathetic. And then also the other thing that people don't want to think about though is the men are the one who actually decide whether she's actually a good woman and whether she's a quality woman. The men are the buyers. Pathetic and it's just, it's laughable. But anyway, women are, social media has made women, it's like, it's made their ego so big. They're so entitled, their egos are so big because they get all these likes, all these followers on there and all these women are competing with each other for the most followers, the most likes. They actually base their social status on. Yeah, that's a good point. That's one thing that I want to go and also chime in on. If, here it is too, like now this is the other problem. The other problem is uh, like, it's not, it's not a difference between the women who are just average looking and the, one, and the ones who look really good because they put on so much makeup Everything is fake, fake lashes, fake body, everything is fake. And then like nowadays, a lot of times with the guy, he don't even know what that woman really looks like. He never seen her without her hair. He never seen her without her makeup. He never seen her without her waist training. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's seen it at the last moment when she took off from waist training. But he never seen her without her hair and without her makeup. So you don't even know what this person looks like. And then this happened to a lot of guys where they wind up getting a woman pregnant and then they don't even know what her natural features are. And then he find out later. It's scary. Of how many likes and followers they have. They actually feel like they've achieved something in life because they have, you know, 75,000 followers on Twitter and uh, they start feeling like they're some kind of celebrity or something. And uh, it's, it's really pathetic. And so their entitlement, their ego is just so big that they don't even have to be decent when they get with a man because they feel like they, they're doing a man a favor by being with them because they can screw up the relationship easily. The man's like, I don't want nothing more to do with you. Cool. I have all these suitors lined up at my door. I have all these followers, um, you know, all these likes and they just post selfies all day long and get all this attention. And it, it's just really destroyed women because their egos are so big and they're so entitled now. And uh, another thing that it's done that I can't stand is the amount of single mothers we have and all these women just being promiscuous, having all these kids from all these different men. You will see them post selfies of themselves and like booty pictures and you'll see like their kids toys in the background. There was one woman in particular that I actually know personally that showed me a picture of herself that she put on Instagram and was bragging about how many likes and followers she had. In the picture, she's in a fitting room taking a picture in bathing suits, skimpy bathing suits. And I can see her two sons sitting on their, like on a phone or a tablet or something in the changing room, little kids. And all of these men were liking, like men have gotten so used to this, they just accept it as normal. If I was a man, I'd be horrified, you know? I'd be like, holy crap. And the kids, those little boys, what do you think they're gonna grow up to be like? Witnessing stuff like this. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's absolutely horrible. Y'all, social media is just, it's horrible. I'm so tired of being out in public and seeing women with that blue shade on their face from being on their phone. That's all they do. I went to a parade for Mardi Gras. My husband and I went to a parade and was standing with you know all these women and you can see that they're on Facebook. Every one of them had their phone out. You can see it's on Facebook or Instagram because you're standing so close to them. And I kid you not, every time a float would pass and there'd be a break in between, they would all be like posting their little selfie and then they gotta put it on there and update everybody on what they're doing. And I was just thinking to myself, God, these women are just so useless. You can't conversate with them. All they wanna do is play on social media and compete with everyone else and try to act like they have this great life and that they're this great person when they're not. Hold on, speaking of that, uh, this is one thing that I, I want to say that I noticed this difference uh, with now, which uh, I think about how it was when I did, you know, this, this, I was never in a relationship with a woman in her early 20s at my age, but I have hung out, you know, with some women in their early 20s. And then because of, because of uh, social media, like normally when you're hanging out with a woman, uh, pretty much, you know, you all are like talking you know, when you're pretty much riding in the car about different things. And now it'll be that you're with a woman and because now social media should be on her phone or should be uh, or should have on her uh, handphone 
while you're driving. And it's like, it just, it's like the weirdest thing. And then, but then, yeah, but then they used to be on their phone. They're not really, really used to communicating with other adults. And you can't have an in-depth conversation with any of them. You ever been out like at a restaurant and you'll see women, every one of them's on their phone and they're probably on social media. You know, it's really, it's really sad, y'all. It's pathetic. Um, for me, what I try to do, um, like when I'm out in public, sitting somewhere by myself waiting, I'm a big book reader. I bring a book with me. You're not, you're rarely going to see me, you know, playing on my phone. I'll pull out a book, um, you know, and try to read something. And I'm not trying to bash anyone that, you know, you're going to check your phone sometimes. You're going to check your email. You know, you got to keep up with things. It's the constant addiction to Facebooking, keeping everybody updated, the social media, the Instagram thing, the Twitter thing. That's, that's what really bothers me. It's, it's just, it disgusts me. And it's sad that it's come to this. You know, before this happened, things used to be so much different. I can clearly remember the 90s. And I wish I could go back to that place in an instant. Things just seemed like it was so much better. And women, you know, were more ladies. They were better quality women. And um, just better quality people in general, actually. And uh, I don't know. It's just, I don't know. We're not heading to a good place, folks. Um, before social media really picked up, I do remember the reality television show hitting the TVs, and I saw the devastation that did. Remember the Real Housewives of Atlanta or Jersey? Y'all remember the shows like that? Or Big Brother? Or um, what was that other one where all of those, damn it, I forgot the name of it, where they'd put all those single men and women in a house together and film it, and they all start having sex with each other, and you just see how useless women are. I never forget when they put... Uh, Jersey Shore, that's another one that came out when they tried to make all Italian Americans look like a bunch of promiscuous um, numbskulls that like to tan and grease up their hair and, um, you know, they just stereotyped Italian Americans. But those women on there just acted like complete fools. All they did was go out and drink and have sex with different people. And it just gives you an insight of how incredibly insecure and broken women on how useless they've become but social media has destroyed women comment below what do you think about social media what do you think uh about what it has so yeah yeah so yeah so um and then this is one thing that i tell guys this though but i have to on some ways i gotta put it on the guys because most guys don't require for a woman to actually to do nothing but just show up and be there he's not required for her to want to add value to his life, want to help him with anything. Most guys just only want women for the sexual, you know, reasons, you know, because, yeah, so he's not requiring her to do nothing. But, yeah, so, um, and then I tell guys, I tell people this all the time, um, everything else, everything else that a woman does outside of sex shows that she really likes you and cares about you. Yeah, so, it, so if she likes you, she's going to want to, help you with your business. She's going to want to help you around the house. She's going she gonna to still want to help you in, in anything that you do. She's going to want to be a helpmate. But if she just only wants to just uh, only just give you sex when she feel like it or just only has sex with you, that don't mean nothing. Everything that a woman does for you outside of sex shows how she really feels about you. But yes, but, uh, but yeah, y'all, yeah, so um, let me know what you all think about the video. So do you all believe that social media has destroyed women? Let me know in the comments. And ladies, and also if you all want to go and take your health to the next level, it comes down to Tony your body to the new year. I'm also accepting clients for personal training. So do you need you a coach that's going to help you with your eating? I also give my clients uh, meal plans. So I, right, so I love you all, and I'm going to see you all next time. Remember, God wants you healthy and fit, and the devil wants you to procrastinate and put it off. And you are so worth it. And yes, let me know in the comments about how do you feel about social media. Do you all feel that social media has destroyed women? Let me know in the comments.